Steady out the tripod here. We got episode two, High Activity Fitness Podcast. Man, I feel great after a couple of days of eating clean, eating plenty, eating uh, eating good fuel for a good workout, a great workout. I got a full leg workout yesterday and a full chest workout today. And um, up next is back. So instead of just doing the lower body, upper body, I was planning on doing for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to shoot right into real workouts. You know, I've been eating enough food and um, I got the extra motivation I needed from recently just, you know, digging in and learning a lot from uh, Wes Watson and Watson Fit. Um, I got a lot of mentors I think about all the time, you know, all the things and principles I've learned from them. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just meet the right mentor at the right time, you know, when you're ready to hear them. So it was a great addition uh, to my school of knowledge. Uh, you know, as you can see, and I, I turned my own uh, office into a learning center, something I value a lot. And, um, you know, Ty Lopez went over health, wealth, love, and happiness. And uh, I think um, Brad Lee was just talking about on the uh, podcast with Wes Watson about uh, three pillars, you know, which I think love and happiness went together. So that would be relationships and, um, you know, however you want to put it together. You've got relationships, your money, and uh, your health. So you put those pillars together and um, stay learning all the time. Stay hungry for, for knowledge. That's something I've learned to value, and I've been collecting books for a couple of years now and trying to read as many as I can. Um, in fact, at night, I got that, that whole set of the uh, Jack Carr series right over there. That Prime series was good. I finished the terminal list, and I'm, I'm like 30 or 40 pages away from finishing the second book, True Believer, uh, with the ending, you know, over there in Ukraine, issues with Russia and Ukraine. Um, great book, right on topic, full of a lot of information. And um, I like even reading about those guys having their functional fitness, you know, that the uh, in the military, the um, top tier special forces, SEALs, Rangers, you know, a lot of these guys, uh, they got to stay fit too, and they got to stay extremely disciplined. So, and they, and, uh, you know, they value leadership, so you can learn a lot from them. Jocko Willink is one of them, and he was another... Um, uh, big inspiration for uh, Jack Carr. They work together. They train together. They, um, you know, he was a big. He was a big inspiration for Jack Carr's authorship. And of course, Jocko Willink is an author. He's right down the street here at Victory MMA, um, which I've had a membership at for a long time and um, froze it for a little bit. Can't wait to go back. Hopefully, I get to make it back over there before I leave San Diego. Um, so yeah, today was chest day. I got a great workout in. Man, uh, I was sitting in some of the same places, you know, in some of the same machines, uh, and stations that I haven't been at for a couple of years. I and I put in a lot of good work at this gym, uh, EOS Fitness here in San Diego. So a lot of memories come right back to me being in there. Um, a lot of incredible, incredible feelings. You know, some of the best feelings I probably, you know, physically had. I guess you know, being in there as strong as I've I've ever been. I've been in some places in that gym on some of those machines. So it was really good to go back there. Sick gym, was, you know, big reason why I came to San Diego to join this fitness scene. And um, again, Wes Watson is over there at the gym, which used to be called World Gym uh, Pacific Beach. That was the first gym I came to when I got out to San Diego. I look forward to going back over there, um, but it's it it may not be, you know, convenient as far as distance and. Uh, traffic and stuff then again you know if i get up and get over there at 4 a.m like west does then that wouldn't be a problem i'll be there and back before anybody's even awake in town and uh, that's the beauty of getting up early getting up earlier than everybody else so a lot of my mentors follow that um, and a lot of thoughts rushing through my head today i wanted to share here i my weight i did not check my weight today i want to check it at the same time every day um, I, was, I was checking it at the gym leg day. It was 157.4, so uh, and it was 160 just a couple of days before that. I imagine maybe I lost a couple pounds right off the bat, just whatever crap was in me, you know, was getting out. And um, 
then of course at the gym you lose a couple of pounds of water weight while you're there just sweating you know and that's on right back on when you leave so i'm gonna get on the scale i think either in the mornings here or right before i head out for my workouts whenever that is and i like i keep saying i want to push my workouts to the morning so chest day was great i went in there and i started off with uh I was going to go to bench, but uh, a couple of them were taken inside, but the dumbbell area was open, head over to the dumbbells, and just kept it simple. Um, I haven't been in there for a long time, and I've just been doing some chest machines barely over the past you know, week or so over at the, uh, the home gym here. So I went right over to the, the dumbbells, and I got in a real chest workout. Uh, took it easy, kept it slow. I, I'm not going in there to try and pick up some heavy weight. And rush myself and hurt myself although i felt so good in there i ate all the fuel i needed all the fuel i used to eat when i lift a lot of weight um before in the past and i felt great so i hopped into the dumbbells and i just picked up 15s i did a couple of sets of uh 20 or 30 um you know just warming up the muscle pumping blood in there getting ready for a workout and then i stayed at that station uh for I think uh, three more sets of 10 with uh, just 32 and a half pound dumbbells. That's it, you know, and I've benched uh, up to the 120s before. And I, a lot of time I used to go in there and just cut by quarters. I would do the 25 pounds, even at my biggest and strongest, I'd start with about 25 pounds and go to the 50s and the 75s and the hundreds um, or anything up in that range, wherever I was trying to fight through at that point. Eventually I could warm up 25, 50, 75, work my way up there and, and lift the heavy weight. So I, I mean, it felt like I was in there uh, lifting that weight again, you know. So I, I, I treat it, the warm up and the form, uh, very similar. Um, the mindset's very similar. So, you know, it can be embarrassing going in there and lifting almost nothing or looking like crap, but I uh, just don't let that stuff bother you. You know, keep a smile on your face, keep a light attitude, um, keep good gym etiquette. I'll have, a, you know, some podcast topics on that. It's really helpful stuff to know in the gym. Gym etiquette is, is important. Uh, just care about other people, you know, look out for their space and, um, uh, you know, don't go in there worried. Don't go in there worried about other people looking at you or laughing at you. Even if somebody is laughing, who cares? You know, at least they're having a good day. And, um, if you're serious about being in there, then, and you've been in there like I have before, I've had to start from the bottom multiple times. I knew what I was going to look like. I knew what I was going to accomplish when I went in there and I did it, you know, I did it every single time. And before a couple of months goes by, I end up having people asking me for help, talking to me and meeting new people at the gym. And that's a great thing. So there's, a, there's all kinds of rewards and all kinds of un, unforeseen rewards that come with discipline and taking care of yourself and showing up somewhere, especially showing up for yourself to your own workouts, you know, to your own exercise, whether it's at home or a gym or, um, you know, or a game or whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, and then I got out to, uh, so ch chest press, let's see, bench press with the dumbbells to the 15s, worked up to the 32 and a half, did three sets of 10 after some warm up, and, uh, and I went ahead and stayed there and made use of my position at the gym, because there's just a lot of people there any day of the week, it was a Sunday, um, even chest, chest is probably, it's always going to be, you know, those machines are going to be used up the most in any gym, any day of the week, so... I just went ahead and made do with my position. I stayed there. I want to move on to flies and get the blood pumping into my chest in between compound uh, exercises. A uh, technique I learned from Jay Cutler, watching him a lot back in the days when he was picking up the Olympia. Um, I, I jumped right into bodybuilding and learning all that back in uh, right at 2008, 2009. Learned a lot from him. And um, so that's why I went to the flies. Kept it with the dumbbells. I think I got. 17 and a half and I did three sets of 15 and that was you know that was kind of difficult too. Uh, I you know, laid flat brought my feet up on the bench and um, got those sets in to flies and then I moved on to incline bench the uh, incline barbell outside outside part of the gym that was a sick spot I'm just looking up at the clouds out there while I'm incline benching you know, that's probably one of my favorite places to be I really wanted to take a picture of it. I'll end up taking some pictures at the gym, you know, eventually, or just, you know, some quick snaps, uh, even something like that, looking up at the clouds while I'm heading a workout out there is pretty cool, you know, at the gym. Some good equipment. So I put on uh, the 25s to get started with. So I was already, you know, pretty warmed up, and, um, man, I couldn't even barely press those, and I, I hit five reps 
and I knew my limit with it. I got five good good reps in, and I knew I wasn't going to get good work if I kept trying to stick with that. Or if I got embarrassed and walked away, I would have been screwing myself, you know. And I, I just did not care. Um, and I I took care of my workout. I took the 25s off. I went and found some 10-pound plates and put little 10-pound plates on my incline barbell bench by myself there and smashed out those reps. And then I could even get barely a couple sets of 10 with that. I think I did three sets of 10. Um... I, I actually I think I was doing sets of 15 and on my final set um, no I did two sets of 12 and in my final set I had to stop at 12 and I, I racked it and then I took a, a breath stretched just lightly didn't even get off the bench unracked it and got three more reps just to finish out with a good set and then lastly I went in for another fly set uh, which was so I've done so that would be I've done flat bench press flat fly and then incline press and then um I, the incline was already a lot of work i already picked up a lot of dumbbells my arms haven't even been you know training lately so without those supporting my arms basically were giving out with all these other muscles so you, you know you don't even learn your full potential if you don't train every muscle group especially the core so um anyways got to get my make sure my kids are in bed here soon and uh, cut the podcast off we'll get another episode tomorrow episode three Start picking up topics, uh, and after a couple of them, getting more and more ideas flowing. Uh, workout was great. The, the last part of the chest workout was the uh, pec deck flies. Um, one of my favorite machines in there. A, a really good setup, solid rigid machine, pec deck fly. You know, they got actual rails coming down to grab onto. I usually grab on uh, above the grips. You know, if I'm doing more of a focus on the middle of my chest in a day, I'll get the grips about level with my chest. Um, but if I uh, switch my grip up a little bit higher and you fly up here you can really get that top of that chest and, and that's where I actually focus the most and the rest of the chest kind of will come with it so a uh, great incredible chest workout I loved it uh, and you know I warm up for five minutes on the bike when I get there and cool down for five minutes when I'm done keep the rpm at 100 um, and the um, incline difficulty at, at you know a level five so that's my warm-up and cool down great to be there great to be at that gym great to eat this food um, you know got home back to my family again which i love doing and um, i feel better while i'm taking care of them uh, it's just it's just it's a happier house here and um I got my food. Let's see, I got my uh, white rice, two cups, eight ounces of chicken, and um, about a cup, cup and a half, or a fistful of uh, broccoli. Again, and I poured the olive oil over the rice. There's my fats: uh, rice, carbohydrates, chicken protein, broccoli, more fiber, and um, and uh, iron in there, and. Uh, super good for your blood flow you know and the fiber man, i figure i feel like it really just helps my my body harden up you know uh, keeping enough fiber in there that means my my rice and my other food isn't being flushed through me so fast that uh that i don't get to really use it or soak it up and especially me with a fast metabolism so uh so i had the breakfast the eggs and oatmeal and i had a chicken and broccoli and brown rice pre-workout chicken broccoli white rice post-workout um, I might even eat some more chicken and rice and then a spaghetti. I think I'm just going to go with the spaghetti, the pasta meal. For me, I'm putting on weight, eating pastas at night is not something I recommend for everybody else. Me and my position, acto more thin. I want to gain a bunch of weight. I'm going to eat pasta. Um, tons of water. I've always got a huge cup of water, like a big cup of water the size of my head next to me when, when I'm eating, you know. So get, get, get all those calories in and... and wash some of the food down if I need to just to make sure I, I eat it and then drink extra water throughout the day the chia seed water um, I had a little bit of a shake before I went to the gym I got a little bit delayed before I went uh, you know just making sure my family's taken care of before I go so I, I drink a partial scoop of my protein shake just to stay uh, so I didn't get hungry before I went to the gym because you don't want to go to the gym hungry and so that provided me exactly with what I needed to get going. And, um, and I'll have one more of those after the spaghetti tonight. So there's other things on my mind I wanted to bring up, but uh, it'll come back to me. And I'm going to do another episode tomorrow. I'm excited about this. Um, and I'm more present. Uh, the more I take care of myself, exercise, my heart, my, my blood flow, my... Um, 
I say tidy with food, you know, not being hungry. I used to deal with deal with hunger problems just because I wasn't feeding myself enough, you know. And I, so I feel great. The mental clarity is coming back better and better and better. I mean, to not do this is a mistake, you know. Take care of yourself. Eat well. Sleep well. Get up early. Take care of yourself first. Take care of your family. And um, the rewards are endless. And the unforeseen ones are, are even more amazing sometimes. So I encourage you to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be dependable for you to come and follow along with. And uh, man, I love it. So catch you on the next one.